Professor Olivier Boyer is an MD, PhD. He's one of Immunopedia's steering committee members. He's a professor of immunology and director of the INSEM U1234 Research Laboratory of Pathophysiology, Autoimmunity, and Neuromuscular Diseases and Regenerative Therapies and head of the Laboratory of Immunology and Biotherapy at the Rouen University Hospital in France. Yes, um, what prompted you to achieve both a medical degree and have a degree of philosophy to, to be a clinician and also gain a PhD? Oh, I was very interested by immunology uh, early in my, in my studies and I thought that um, um, we had to learn a lot of basic science to understand what would happen in the patient. So, so it was quite natural for me to, uh, to go through these uh, double uh, courses, the, uh, science and the medical school at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had a great time doing this. So I hope now I can help other people going through this and uh, we receive in the lab uh, and we welcome uh, some uh, clinicians as well to, uh, to try to go into basic science because particularly in immunology, the, 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 it is mutually uh, supportive and you understand more uh, both sides. Okay. Um, so you said it was a track that was for both MD and PhD at the same time. You didn't really need to juggle. Like you're a medic and you have to juggle some of the PhDs. It was a stream that um, you would get help if you needed. You know, when I had the chance to work in an environment where uh, I could have act part of my day uh, as an MD and, and, and the rest of the time in the research laboratory that was located at the same place. Okay. And this is what I have been uh, trying to reproduce here in Normandy, France, uh, where uh, we have the researchers and also the residents and they mix and they discuss together and this is, uh, uh, well, I hope an exciting place to be. And so you are one of the most active contributors on our Immunopedia case study page. What prompted you to actually start contributing to that page? Oh, because I, I, I love the idea. Uh, I think um, the clinical, these clinical science are a very good way of uh, introducing some notions of basic science and notably in immunology. Um, if you think about uh, how we discovered the structure of immunoglobulins years ago it because some people studied uh, uh, patients with myeloma they had a lot of proteins and you could uh, identify the, the, the chemical and structural properties uh, then after we learned a lot from the severe um, immunodeficiency uh, to learn about the genes that govern immunity uh, and uh, we have many examples of this uh, I think I contributed the case of IPEX syndrome, mm -hmm. it is a very rare disease. But if you start by understanding why these patients are so sick, because they have a mutation in a gene that controls the biology of regulatory T cells, you understand how regulatory T cells are important, how you need these cells, and it is easier to introduce the concept of uh, peripheral tolerance in immunology, mm -hmm. starting from um, the clinical cases. So I'm a little biased, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I love this way of starting from a medical case to go to a more uh, conceptual aspect of basic science. And how do you envision the case studies to be used by both immunologists and clinicians who want to gain a better understanding of the immunology behind different immunopathologies? Well, going into these cases, uh, uh, I think it is interesting for, for, for both type of uh, young immunologists because if you are a clinician you will understand the clinical case and then at the end of the clinical case you will have some uh, basic background and some multiple choice questions and, and other type of questions to, to, to help you uh, uh, verify that you understood correctly so it introduces you to some concepts and some uh, perspectives also for research. And uh, for the, the, the other uh, type of, uh, of young immunologists and students, uh, of course it is very exciting to know that what they are, what they are studying has consequences for, for people. Uh, and, and this is very important and this is why immunopedia is a very important thing. And I should add that this is also at an international level, which is important because we can cover 
a lot of diseases because, of course, uh, people don't uh, necessarily have the same prevalence of diseases here and there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it is important to talk about HIV and TB and malaria, but also cancer and uh, immune deficiencies and autoimmunity and so on. So uh, it is very useful. Good. Yes. Thank you so much again, Olivia. Thank you. It was a pleasure.